Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well and welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you for being here. And if you, you've just popped in, please consider staying, subscribing. You know, love to have you. So this is a reading of what door is closing and what door is opening for you, okay? So it's like a, a chapter that's closing and a new chapter that's starting basically, but we're using doors. Um, so for group one, we have this door here that's closing this door here that's opening okay make sure I put it back the right way group two we have closing and we have opening and group three we have this lovely blue door that's closing and this door that's opening so table resonates leave what doesn't and don't forget guys I do energies as well um yeah so I see you at your piles Hey group one, so if you chose um, these two doors, so what is closing for you is passages. Spiritual signs of inclination, you're walking through passages of your transformation. So there could be signs that you have been noticing from spirit, you know, maybe numbers, um, songs, animals, you know. So, you know, follow those signs is what spirit is saying. But it's not only that you've come through a big transformation, okay? It's like you've changed for the good. So what door is opening for you is silent skill. I challenge you to unpack your mind in meditation's grace. The soul can unwind. Breathe in, breathe out, let go of doubt. Okay, you have a silent skill here, group one. And spirit is actually challenging you. And that may be even what the signs are as well. So maybe you've never even admitted to anybody about this silent skill that you have. You have a talent. And I'm glad I actually, there was a reason I got those cards out. Because I've got some oracle cards down here. I don't know whether you can see them. I don't think you can. Um, and I actually pulled out life purpose cards. So there was obviously a reason for that. So, you know, you may suffer with anxiety group one, okay, and maybe you got told that you're not good enough or you can't do it, blah, 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 you know, all that, that crap that people like to spill. Um, and Spirit is saying maybe meditation will help you get over this doubt, get over this insecurity. So I'm going to leave this one here, but I'm going to have a look at what is closing first. So let's have a look. So, Spirit, tell me what, tell me more about this passages, Carl. What, why is this door closing for group one? Oh, oh my God, I can't just shuffle these cards. I don't know what it is with it. It's like, honestly, <laughs> I'm having a fit on, on camera. Oh, it's, I can't explain it, but they're sticking together and they're really hard to shuffle. So they're going to make that excuse all the time. I can't shuffle. So we have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Okay, I'm going to admit to you guys, I actually started your pile and I stopped your pile. There was something wrong that wasn't feeling right. And the same cards are coming out again. So there's obviously a message here for you guys. Um, Who is this King of Pentacles? So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Who is this King of Pentacles? So the King of Pentacles is the Eight of Wands. Same cards. <laughs> Eight of Cups, same message. Oh my God, I should have just kept going really. But sometimes when you're not feeling it as a tarot reader, sometimes you need to take a step back, have a breather and then come back. Four of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. Oh my God. There's so many people here, but it's like, who is this Queen of Cups? I feel like you're closing a chapter on a lot of people here, not just one person, not just one 
one thing here this is why i feel felt like i had to stop the reading for you guys but honestly what what is going on with group one spirit <laughs> high priestess again high priestess the ace of cups again oh my goodness the full the six of cups and the world something is coming to an end here obviously because this is a closing of a door um Group one, you're walking away from someone, okay? I feel like you were in a commitment with a queen of cups or a king of pentacles, okay? Take what resonates, but don't forget that energy so you can swap it around as much as you want. You've you've decided to take action and leave, okay? You know, you felt like you were stuck in the in a in a rut, then nothing was happening here. You just felt weighed down by this connection, okay? I am picking up a relationship here. Um There is somebody else here, though. So it could be, look, some of you could have already started talking to somebody else outside of your relationship. I'm picking up this is someone from your past. There is some kind of reconciliation here with somebody. So it's like you're ready to move on. You're ready to take a chance with this This person from the past we do have a couple here okay this is a queen of wands or a king of wands um yeah you're very you feel very um passionate about this person um or this new start here you've kept this hidden from people I feel like you, if this is somebody from the past that you've re reconnected with, you've never really told anybody about how you felt about them, um, how much you actually love them. But there is a, there is a new relationship here with the Ace of Cups. There's a brand new beginning here. There's um, reconciliation with someone here. You know, something has com been completed with the world. This is a this is an ending. So we do have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, very strong fire sign in this reading. And you know that, that message of look for the signs, look for the signs, and then we have the High Priestess here. High Priestess is all about receiving messages from spirit, you see, looking for the signs, listen to your intuition. But something's been completed with someone here, that's come to an end, you, you left it, even though you may have invested both of you, uh, you know, a lot into this connection, you, you've walked away. And I don't see you doing it harshly neither. I see you doing it in a nice way. You know, it's like a mutual understanding with with one another. It's not, it's not nasty. There's no arguments here. There is still love for one another here, but not the love of, you know, that you're in love. It's not that. It's like a like a respect that you have for one another. Okay, um, you know, you may even have children with this person. But it's like you're finally taking action. You're finally take you, you you're moving on. It's like, what's the point in being stuck in, in a rut here? You know, doing the same thing over and over again. And yeah, tell me about this King and Queen of Wands. You know, this is two people that are like a power couple. Okay, very 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 handsome couple here, and this is these are two people that are very attracted to one another you know i don't think the attraction has ever died down over the years that you've been apart with this some with this person i mean i absolutely love this six of cups card in this deck it 
I feel like it started off with you. It just hasn't happened yet, but what's going to happen is um, there is going to be some, some kind of communication of you two talking about the past, you know, reminiscing about, you know, the good old times, you know. I feel like there wasn't even a connection here. Maybe it was something very innocent, very immature that never really got to develop here. But now you're both older and there's a chance here for both of you. Tell me about the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. And she then put them there. Okay, hang on. God, I don't know what's up with me today. The Tower. So, I asked about the King and Queen of Wands here, okay? And I also said about the person may have, um, it may have been young and innocent, you know, someone from years ago. Now, I feel like this energy, whoever this was that you're, you're reconnecting with or you're going to reconnect with, is it, they, they, there was a third party situation here. They chose a, a karmic route, okay? So what it was is they saw the person, which is the Queen of Pentacles, as someone that was more valuable than you. And I know that's not very hard, um, not very nice to hear, but they were looking at their fortune, basically, as what is the best choice for me here? So, yeah, there was a third-party situation here and they chose someone that they thought would be more beneficial to them you know maybe you were working maybe you were still young maybe you were still in school you know all that kind of jazz so this person left you out in the cold maybe there was never an explanation maybe you did know about it you know but there was just this sudden change and ending here and I feel like they broke your heart as well with the tower here, you know, with the three of swords. See, they wanted someone that was able to give back to the connection as well as them giving to the connection as well. You know, this is this is, I feel like this is more of a like a business transaction than than love here. You there's love, but sometimes love isn't enough. So this person was thinking with their mind here, deciding what was right for them. So yeah, this is the per this is the person's energy that's come through. So this is um I feel like you're both closing a door on this chapter that that was your life and their life. Okay, it's like this person's come into your reading this energy and is basically saying that I'm closing this chapter as well. Okay. So let's have a look what door is opening for you now. So Spirit, tell me about this door, silent, hit, silent skill that's opening for group one. Tell me about this door that's opening for group one. Okay, maybe, hang on. Okay, for some of you, wait, just hang on a minute. Closing of the door here could also be you're actually closing the door on this heartbreak here that you may have held on to for years, okay? You may have 
be pining for this person for years, you know. And sometimes that can affect us as as people, you know, it affects our relationships, it affects us emotionally, you know, that kind of thing. If we don't, it affects our heart space, basically. And I feel like your heart space is finally healing from this and you're closing this door on this for good. You've accepted for, you've accepted, <clears throat> you've accepted what this person did. And it's like now I'm finally able to shut that door and move on. For both of you, like I said, it could be you're both shutting doors on, you know, previous relationships and you're coming back together. Okay, so that's what I saw as well. So tell me about this silent skill for the door that's opening for group one. About this silent skill for group one, please, Spirit. Thank you. Knight of Swords. Spirit wants you to take action. Act now. Be reckless. Be bold. Be confident. Five of Cups. Star. Mm -hmm. So we have Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. Tell me more about this silent skill for group one. Please, Spirit. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I thought it was much. Look, guys, there's something that you've been holding on to, a talent that can send you into some such big success here, okay? Huge success. It can even be something that you end up in in the public eye, you know? People will recognise you. So you have a silent skill here that you are not using out of fear with the Five of Cups, out of feeling... You, you, you fear you're good. <clears throat> okay, hang on. Fred's going. <clears throat> and my throat's going, and I feel like you guys don't really want to hear it. <laughs> but you're going to hear it. You fear rejection. You fear that people are not going to like you or like your talent here. Why are you scared? There's nothing actually wrong here, guys. Nothing. This could be something that you want to do online. You know, platform, influence, anything that you've got this talent and it's hidden from the world and spirit wants is literally saying to you, I dare you to do this. And it's like the Knight of Swords coming out is funny as well because that is like, I dare you to take action, you know. So these are your fears here of feeling, you know. I feel like, like I said at the beginning, that people may have put a downer on this, may have told you you're not good enough, you know, just made you feel so insecure and you are the star. This is wishes coming true, okay? Dreams, hopes for the future, stardom, and the Eight of Pentacles is working on something. This is what Spirit wants you to do. Work on this skill that you've got, you know, Tell me about this star energy here for group one. Wow, eight of wands. Tell me about this star energy. And just take strength. Spirit is saying, don't stop trying to block it out. You are strong enough and capable of enough, enough to do this. The eight of wands is take action. Start moving things forward. Start developing this skill. So we do have Leo energy as well. Look at this. Queen of Pentacles. This is some, you know, you guys have got the brain for business, okay? You're very successful. You know, you're very generous as well. And you've got some kind of healing energy here as well. So it could be something to do with that. And I feel like people are going to be drawn to that strength. Maybe you've got something that you can offer people. Maybe life experience is something you've gone through. Maybe it's something that you want to do that, you know, where um, you get a lot of these uh, people that do podcasts and they talk about things, you know, you know, that kind of thing. Spirit wants you to be in your masculine energy here, okay? Maybe you guys more in your feminine energy than your masculine energy but the, with the emperor it's spirit is saying you know with the emperor he likes to do things i'm saying he because it's he card he likes to do things in a certain way okay he likes to plan things he likes to work things out and maybe that's what you've got to do first embrace that masculine energy of yours plan it out 
decide what you're going to do and then do it. Some of you may actually be in the masculine, you know, have more of the masculine energy and not the feminine. That's all I'm hearing. Sometimes you guys can come across as a bit too blunt. I'm like that, but you know, <laughs> no foot and mouth. Um, so we have Aries energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. So tell me about this Eight of Pentacles for Group One. This is really good. This is. I'm I'm loving this. This is great. Six of Pentacles. There's something you need to be giving to other people. And you know what's really, really lovely as well with the Six of Pentacles? This is giving as well as receiving. But it's also, if this takes off, which I said it will because of this stardom here, the money's going to start coming in as long as you work hard, okay? And where you're so humble and so giving, you're going to be able to give back to people that are in need, okay? There's something here very special about you, Group 1. Something that you've had had since you were were a child, okay? You've had this talent for a very long time, but you're just not you're you're not using it. It's like you're hiding because you've been told you're not good enough. So tell me a bit more. King of Cups. Ace of Pentacles, wow. Four of Wands. This is lovely. This is a brand new beginning. Okay. This is Spirit saying, here's, here's a new start for you. Start running towards that. This is like a new job, a new career, a new home. Um, just... Pure abundance. This is going to pay very, very well. And you're also an energy that's very sympathetic and compare, um, caring and, you know, very compassionate and understanding. Okay. So. I'm picking up your gift is helping people. Spirit wants you to invest in this because it's going to be very, very rewarding. I couldn't get that word out there. <laughs> so, you know, what's holding you back, group one, is your own fear here. Not, not anything else, not anyone else. It's your own fear, feeling like you're not good enough, feeling like people won't like you or won't accept you. Yes, you're going to have to work hard to get to this stage here, but it will pay off in the end. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to get these life purpose cards. Let's have a look. So tell me more about this silent skill for group one. Family. Loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. So, you know what? Twice, twice the four of wands came out, okay? On the back of the deck, I saw it. Now, when I saw this card, I thought to myself, whatever it is that you're going to be doing, it's going to feel like a, a community, like a family. Um, these are going to be like your soul, soul tribe, okay? You're going to feel like you finally come home to the people that need you. I hope I've to explain that very well. So this is what, whatever you're going to be doing is good. They're going to feel like family to you. You know, it could even be that you, you know, you may end up helping families in need. So let's go a few more. Heart's desire. The angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become reality. Mm-hmm. So this has been your heart's desire for, for since you were a little girl or a little boy, you know, and they're protecting you and they're encouraging you to move forward with this dream that you've always had. Light and love. Your purpose is to bring divine healing, light and love into this world. Thank you, spirit. 
something it could even be spiritual you guys it can even be what i'm doing here right now guys it could be that maybe you're sitting here thinking or you know i know how to read tarot or i'm psychic or what have you well then what is holding you back do it you know don't get me wrong i'm sound a bit of a hypocrite because <laughs> i'm so insecure as well and it took i had everything prepared i think i said this on a video the other day something similar to this but i had everything prepared but it took me about another four or five months to actually sit in front of the camera, well, behind the camera, um, and do it. Because when you've been told that you're not good enough all your life, it's just like, well, from childhood, whatever, it does put that insecurity, you know, and being online is a bit scary because <laughs> you just get, you know, the odd one or two. So there's something here that you have this energy to heal people and this is what i said there's a healing energy about you guys <clears throat> you know it may not even be something online it may be something that you do outside you know a community here with the four of wands okay i'm gonna take that so we've got protected you are safe and supported while you change your career seriously can't make this up thank you spirit so you're going to be protected by spirit okay you're you're valued in the spiritual world um realm whatever you want to call it so yeah they're protecting you on your journey we've got that here as well so you've got two angels here protecting you then we've got artists engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and every other area of your life so maybe it's something that you create um but then even like something like this is, is is artistic, you know. It's a gift. Healing, energy healing. Your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life purpose. Guys, you need to really listen to this message, okay? Because you've got that three times. And then we've got body work. Your life purpose involves body work as such as a massage, therapy, he, energy healing, physical therapy or exercise training or tattoo artist i love a tattoo i've got so many of them i just love them never got tattoos on my arms though mine are mainly hidden until the summer <laughs> but i do love a tattoo once you start you cannot go back um so yeah maybe there's something here that you you are producing here oh, interesting love to know guys leave it down in um, the comment box down below i'd love to hear what this silent skill is of yours Tell me more, please, Spirit, for group one. Blessed change. A major life change brings you great blessings. Wow. Look at this, guys. You're on, you're, this, this door that's opening for you is going to be wonderful. Have faith. Your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow, follow your guidance. Exactly. And that's the star card there. That's manifestation as well. So let's get one more. Consult an expert. More information is needed. Contact someone with expertise in this area. So maybe you need to talk to someone that's going to help you, um, guide you. There was that King of Cups there as well. So that could be someone... That is, um, can help give you the information that you are seeking, you know, the guidance that you are seeking. So let's get some of these. So for group one, please, Spirit, what door is, tell me about the door that's opening. Field of Dreams, wow. Look at the way they're sitting on the eggs. And the eggs are actually, some, yeah, some of them are actually hatched. So dream big guys okay something is hatching here something is is you're going to give birth to something here and it's going to be amazing so look at the fairy dust as well that's coming down from from the sky here so i feel like actually that's a moon you know i feel like the universe is about to sprinkle some magic on you guys wow I love these cards. So 
tell, them, tell us more about this um, silent skill, please, spirit. We have making a choice. Look at <laughs> look at the two doors. Literally, we've got two doors. So making the choice, you can either go now. I'm not being funny. I would be going this way because if you actually look through this door, the the tree here is just barren. There's no leaves on that. And once again, this looks like the universe again. So, you know, you need to make this choice. What path do you want to choose? Do you want to keep going down the same path and just reminiscing or pining after something that you've got here, this gift that you could be given to other people and let your insecurities take over? Or choose this door over here. I mean, you guys could be choosing that side, you know. Um, and have this new start in life, you know. Dragon's Lair. Yeah. Look, your this this makes sense as well. So if you look at the dragon here that's actually melting the ice on this um tower here. It's like you've been frozen in time or frozen in fear and this is starting to melt. Slowly slowly it's starting to melt and your confidence is going to start coming, you know, a, either coming back or it's going to be some kind of new confidence that's going to it's going to be you you know like there's going to be like a bounce in your step if you know what i mean and if you look the stairs that's leading up some of them are still covered and then you've got these stairs that are leading up to the top of the tower and this is you guys you know making your way to the top so guys please don't let your insecurities um stop you you from doing what you need to be doing Tell me a bit more, please, Spirit. Thank you. In a piece, this is going to bring you in a piece. Okay. This can be Pisces energy as well with the fish. But fish is all about abundance as well. You know, in the dream dictionary, fish usually means money or pregnancy, but a birth of something, you know, new. But this is going to bring you some inner peace here. Oh, well, I reckon a lot of inner peace. It's, you know, all those people that said you couldn't do it or laughed at you. They, they're going to be the ones that are not laughing. You are going to be the one that's laughing. we've got six wow success guys come on your spirit animal may actually be a black um panther here okay you may want to look into that your spirit guide may be the um the panther that's guiding you so look success guys going forward wow you know, sometimes the road is long to success, but keep going forward and you're going to get there in the end because we have the sun at the end there. Oh, I love it. It's like the yellow brick road, actually, from the Wizard of Oz. This road leads to um, success, guys, because it's literally gold. Oh, I love these cards as well. <laughs> Wish I was an artist, but I'm not. <laughs> I can't draw. I can draw a stick, man. So tell me a bit more, hey, spirit. Energy. Fragmented energy. So, okay. Um, you may need to do... Um, Oh, what's it called? Oh my god, I'm forgetting now. And I don't want to sit here for ages thinking about what it is. Um, I 
oh, there's a meditation that you can do that you can go and collect parts of your energy that was left behind your soul something to do with your soul okay i cannot believe i only did that a little while ago um so you know it could be that you've where you've been hurt in the past by people it takes you back to that stage where you've left a part of your energy behind at that scene or that moment in time and you go and collect these parts of your energy to put it back to make you whole again to help you heal um i can't remember what it's called sorry guys um but it's also because look if you actually look at her she's missing one piece of the jigsaw puzzle here and a piece here as well you know and a bit here so there's some things that you may need to heal about yourself things that people said things that people did okay And there's something that you're going to complete a milestone here and spirit wants you to let go okay look at the doors again guys i mean like how many doors have we had in this reading so let go um there's some kind of milestone you're going to achieve something really big here guys so let's have a look at this because I mean look at the way the dog's actually pulling on on the leash here reminds me of my dogs <laughs> and that one's running off and it's like she's trying to get them in you know I don't know through that door there sometimes it's it's good to just let people go that are not doing you any good that put you down make you feel insecure about yourself oh wow look at this guys star now there's the star right there Hard times are over. Look forward to abundance of happiness, enthusiasm and positivity. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Phoenix. Be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. Okay, so you could have been going through um, some hard times. The crisis could have been an internal crisis, guys, okay? So, but there's going to be a re renewal here. Maybe some of you actually got a tattoo of a phoenix. I don't know why, that, why I saw that, but anyway, <laughs> it's a group one. I'm going to leave it there, okay? I hope this resonated. I hope this helped. And good luck if this is something that you guys have been wanting to do. I'm excited for you guys, okay? You take care. Much love. Hey, group two. So, let's have a look. So, this is the door that's closing. Sunset. Mm. Time here turns to release and unfurl. Old calls calls of pain fade as the sunlight burns pass this card on which sunset <laughs> literally clarifies this card of the door that's closing because you know the sun is setting isn't it so something is finally setting here and it seems to be um old cords that may have tethered you to someone or something here is finally being cut here and the pain is starting to fade here so this is a door that you're literally slamming shut on past pain the future door here, a stranger's grace. Okay. Ego fears the sudden danger, but never underestimate the kindness of a loving stranger. Oh, maybe there's new love here for you guys. So maybe from your past here that you've experienced something with someone that you just don't trust anyone anymore. But spirit is saying that's the ego talking here. Okay. Um whoever this stranger is that's coming into your life is a loving kind person so we're going to look at that in a minute we're going to look at this sunset here to see what ha what door why the door is closing tell me more about this sunset for group two tell me more why is this door closing page of wands nine of wands yeah you've been wounded eight of cups 
you've walked away from something that you've um, you've invested in. You spent time investing in something here. Yeah, you've been wounded. You know, this, this is something that tested your courage, okay? This put you through the ringer. And I feel like walking away was you setting boundaries in place for yourself as well as others here. And it's like, it wasn't something, it wasn't an easy choice. And it's like on the back of the deck after I took the Eight of Cups, we've got the Ace of Cups. It's like, you choose love, you choose to love yourself. Tell me about this Eight of Eight of Cups and Nine of Wands. Tell me about this Eight of Cups and Nine of Wands, please, Spirit. Hmm. Seven of Cups in Reverse. Yeah, you found some kind of uh, clarity here, you know, some something, you, you realise something. And I feel like the realisation was, I deserve to be loved and I'm going to put myself first. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Chariot. Justice, Six of Wands. I feel like you escaped, yeah, the devil, the world. You made a, a choice here, you chose you, you chose to leave whoever this devil person was behind, okay? You decided to work on yourself. Um, yeah, you left here with the chariot, you started you, it's like you've just got up and left. You made a choice here. You decided that you saw that this, whatever this was here, okay, was not fair. Someone caused an injustice in your life here and it was like, I'm making a decision here now to walk away from this person and leave it behind because I deserve to... I deserve to be happy, that's what I'm hearing here. It's like you, and it's like I'm seeing your spiritual team like clapping and cheering, you know? With the Six of Wands, you see the person on the horse and everybody's cheering and it's like, finally, yay, you put yourself first, you are this strong person, you, you know, you could, you can do this. So I'm seeing them clapping. You've learned your lesson with the world here, okay? A very valuable lesson to never allow anybody to treat you like this again. Um, never put you through this again and you've gone off into your new beginning with with this as a learning you've taken this as a learning like as a life lesson okay and this chapter is done you're you're done and I always say with the world card I see this this is someone slamming the door putting the key in and then throwing the key away so it's like literally two doors here so we do have Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Libra, Cancer, okay? But there's this devil card here. You were dealing with somebody that was very toxic, maybe controlling, maybe they were financially abusing you, maybe they were abusing you, maybe this person had addictions, but I am going to clarify this. Tell me about this devil. I mean, it could even be that, you know, maybe you had addictions and you had some problems that you needed to sort out. And this is the door that you closed on that, the past. But let's have a look. Oh. All right. King of Cups. The Sun. Four of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about this King of Cups. Ten of Cups in reverse. This is a partner that you left behind. This is a King of Cups that would be emotionally abusive, okay? <clears throat> Very emotionally immature. 
cold, very uncaring. This person could have cheated on you as well, you know, may have been unfaithful with the Ten of Cups in reverse. This is not a happily ever after for you. This was this was like a disaster. You you thought you were getting your King of Cups, which was compassionate, loving, kind, caring, and I feel like this person tricked you, you know. The devil is a trickster energy here. And um so this is a separation or a divorce, okay? You you left the home, you're done. You're healing from this now. Oh, I didn't even notice that. So we've got sunset here, and then we've literally got the sun here. So you're healing from this pain that this person put you through, okay? Um... You know you're very you're very fearful of the change okay like i said it took a lot, a lot of courage for you to walk away i mean a part of you could still be holding on to this pain you know there is fear here and i feel like that's this is why when this stranger's grace comes in you're still holding on to fear but spirit wants you to let this fear go okay they want you know spirit wants you to heal from this you are single now, you know, you're missing your 10th pentacle here, but finances is, you know, finance and business is, you're doing very well there, okay, so you're just living your best life, you're just getting on with life, and I don't even feel like you're looking for love, and that's always the way, isn't it, love pops in when, when we least expect it, so let's have a look now at what door is opening, so tell me for group two, about this stranger's grace, please. Ace of Swords. Tell me about this. Uh, six of Pentacles. <laughs> the lovers. <laughs> Sorry, I know I'm laughing. Like I said, I don't even think I don't think you're even thinking about love. Okay, some of you might be, <laughs> but I'm just laughing because this a loving stranger is about to enter your life here we've got the lover's card so something is going to be revealed to you okay it could, it, this this if you haven't met this stranger this this stranger is going to come out of nowhere okay this is a stranger <clears throat> This is not somebody that you know. This is someone who is very, very giving, okay? Who is going to help you with the Six of Pentacles? And that actually says that in that card. They're willing to, to, to do anything, to bend over backwards to get you to choose them, okay? And Spirit is saying, you know, you can live in fear, okay? You can let fear take over and then, you know, that can make your judgment cloudy okay spirit is saying to you please listen to your intuition you know um maybe some of you have been waiting for a while for love you know you've been single for a while and it's not happening and you're like well when is it going to happen spirit is saying it happening good time when you're ready when you've healed but i feel like this energy is going to help you heal as well but this energy is moving towards you here and I feel like it's spirit that's sending this person towards you. So we do have Gemini and we do have um, Cancer. Tell me about the lovers. King of Pentacles. Wow. Tell me about this uh, King of Pentacles and the lovers. <clears throat> the Hermit, the Nine of Cups and Strength. Wow. Wow. This is somebody, obviously, you've not met yet, okay? This is being hidden from you at the moment. So, when, like I said, when Spirit's ready to send this stranger to you, that's when it's going to happen. You can't push things. This is a King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone who's very loyal, very grounded, successful, does well with their business, um, works really hard, loves to provide for their family, um, very wealthy, very loyal as well marriage material basically and this is literally something you've been wishing for this is a wish 
coming true for you guys. It's like everything that you've wanted in a partner, this is this is them. And you you know what with strength as well, which is so beautiful, you're gonna be able to lean on this King of Pentacles. You know, they're gonna be there emotionally for you, physically. Um they, it's like they're gonna be your rock. But I feel like <laughs> You know, this card, I'm looking at it, it's like whoever this person is, you're going to tame them. I feel like this person, whoever they are, I'm seeing them as very gruff. I hope you know what that means. Like, maybe stoic, doesn't really say much to people, doesn't really show their emotions much to other people. So, you know, they can be a bit standoffish. But when they're with you, you, you make them like a kitty cat, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's like they're putty in your hand so you know i feel like this is such a, a really good balance connection here for both of you here with the six of pentacles i love this for you guys absolutely love it for you guys okay so this is this hang on the kindness of a loving stranger so this you know i don't think you've because you dealt with a devil energy that was very selfish and controlling and manipulative and, and what else they did to you. This is going to be something totally opposite to what you're used to. Yeah, your wish is about to come true. The spirit is saying, just be patient. We will, de we will deliver this person to you when, when we're ready to deliver this person to you. Okay? It sounds like a package, doesn't it? <laughs> So let's have a look. Let's get some life purpose. Oh, okay. Talk to your angels. Instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. Okay. So speak to your angels. They're listening. Nutrition. You conduct healing work with your culinary skills. So maybe some of you love to cook. You like to feed people. Um... And that's like a healing thing here. Maybe some of you are chefs, you know. So tell us more of this spirit. Practice. Polish your skills by practicing regularly. So maybe there's something that you have um, a gift in, you know, and you've not picked it up for a while because life gets in the way and spirit wants you to keep practicing that. Let's see what else Spirit wants to say. Tell us more about this door. Stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. Yep. Like Spirit said, we would deliver this person when we feel you're ready. Self-employment. You're a born interpreter and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities. Now, we do have the Nine of Pentacles, which you could be your own, you know, you could own your own business, okay? And I said money is really great. You know, money's coming in for you guys. It's just that you're missing that Tenth Pentacle, which is love. Morning affirmations. Stay positive. Affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestations and maybe do some affirmations when you're looking in the mirror. You know, I am loved, I'm worthy of love, you know, and that kind of thing. Say that to yourself every day in front of the mirror and every night in front of the mirror. Watch your thoughts. It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. Now, come on, guys. Ego fears the sudden danger, but never underestimate the kindness of a loving stranger. Your thoughts, and I say this all the time, and I even told my daughter off the other day because she's about to give birth to a second child and she's stressing and everything, and you know how children are. Um, and she kept saying something, but it was over the days that, because we speak every day, she kept saying the same thing and then it, I was like, hang on a minute. So I said to her, if you continue to say that, you're putting that out into the universe and that is what is going to come back and that is what the universe is going to give you. So you need to change your mindset here. So she was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes I have to lecture my children as well. So this is the thing. Watch what you're saying. Watch what you're thinking because you are giving that out to the universe and the universe um, will give that back, okay? You know, this is your ego. This is fear that's talking. And maybe that's why spirit is 
holding back on giving you this person until you accept that fear's not going to get in the way anymore, okay? Maybe the Ace of Swords being here as well because that usually says that when the tarot read, what the tarot reader is saying is usually correct, okay? But it's also bringing clarification to you in this reading what is affecting, you know, finding new love. So watch what you put out there, guys, okay? So tell me more, please, for, it, for group two. Let me check the time. Hotels, hotels. What the hell is hotels? That says clarity. Important. Important riches. Wow. Okay. So I just spoke about clarity here. A little, is that a mouse? No, that's, that's like a chipmunk <laughs> with the hat on. Hmm. Do you know what, guys? From looking at this card, and then we do have page of wands right here okay this is l working on something okay or studying something there may be something here because i'm looking at all the books here maybe you need to start reading up on something maybe whatever happened to you maybe you need some kind of clarity there to understand this person's mindset of why they put you through that because sometimes we do need to read something about why people act the way they act, okay? You know, like narcissism and what is gaslighting. So there's something here that Spirit is saying with all these books here, okay? Um, look into something here because it will bring you some kind of clarity. So some kind of reading material, something that's been bothering you. That may help your healing process as well. So tell me more, please, Spirit. Then we have protecting treasure. It's actually quite a sad picture, really. You know what it could be, okay? What I'm seeing with this, with the way she's sitting on the, the treasure chest here. And she, you look at the way she's curled over it, but it's closed. And I'm seeing it as like you're closed off to people. Um, closed off to love because of what's happened, happened to you. So this could be why you need to maybe read up on something, study something. And just try and understand what what you went through here okay group two because you are closed off to something that's going to be beautiful that's going to be approaching you here you know and this is why i feel like spirit is holding back on this this new romance here this new connection that's coming in until you're open to receive it okay and then you're going to be open to realizing that this person is a treasure. This person is valuable because if you look at the king of, look at the big coin, the king of pentacles is a very valuable person as well as the queen of pentacles. But spirit wants you to notice that. Hmm. And you know, and we do have watch your faults here because it's like you just don't trust anybody anymore. But not everybody is, is the same. Yeah, look, wide open. Spirit wants you to be wide open when you meet this person. They don't want you to be closed off. 
So, yeah, you've still got some healing to do, guys, okay? We do have the sun there. You do have healing to do. You know, healing doesn't happen overnight anyway. Great gratitude. So Spirit wants you to be very grateful for the things that you have in your life, okay? Family, money, success. Um, you know, just thank the universe. Thank your spirit guides. Just have that gratitude. Don't hold on to negativity. Look, you've got courage, Spirit is saying here. Find that courage. You don't need to wear armour. And then we have friends and colleagues. So it could be that you're making new friends. It could be maybe spirits asking you to go out and um, mingle more with your friends, okay? Start enjoying life again. I feel like you've become very closed off, group two. Very closed off from people, situations, because something very shitty happened to you guys. Now tell me a bit more please for group two. Look at this. If you can heal, you're going to feel free. I mean, where's that card? Look at the way she's standing up on top of the, the cliff there. You know, she looks free on top of that cliff. Spirit wants you to find freedom. Don't don't let all these negative thoughts, don't let all these insecurities. Um, and Spirit is also saying as well, you're free from the past here. Okay, close that door. Slam it even. You are protected, okay? You are being protected by your spiritual team here, okay? There's nothing to fear. And then we've got adventures. Yeah, look. You're, you're about to go on an adventure here. Once once this, this door opens for you you're gonna just experience different things even your relationship could be like a like a an adventure okay you know taking you on a journey you've got security as well so this person that's coming into you, for you guys is going to bring you so much security so much love so much you know they've got time for you okay i've just done those ones i don't even know why i went for oh wait there they are Oops, sorry guys. So we've got the owl. There is a spiritual message and great wisdom to be found during the period of transition. So yes, we do have the high priestess. So maybe listen to um, your dreams, okay? Messages, numbers, um, look for those things. Because as you're transforming into someone different, okay? Um, and healing there is messages on that journey that's going to bring you a lot of wisdom you know I keep going back to them books there where I said you had to study something maybe even spirituality you, you know maybe look into that that can help heal as well we've got the wish card again so we've got wish again. Your heart's desire is ready to come true. So we've got the wish card twice. So, you know, look at this heart here. I do feel like it is that you guys just want to meet someone that is just... Maybe you've been these type of people that are unlucky in love. And you've just not found your, your counterpart, okay? This is about to happen for you. And this is like hands coming out of the universe here. So it's like the universe is saying, here you go. And then we have the world, which we had here as well. Be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. Yep, a new chapter is beginning for you. Okay, a new door is opening for you, which this is reading. So, right, group two, I'm going to leave it there. You have a lovely day. And if you like this reading, please hit like. Um, much love, guys.
Hey group three, so if you chose these two doors, so this is the door that's closing. Secret sketches, wonder and seek the familiar and friendly kind, draw memories in sketches from others to find. So there could be something here that maybe you've held on to, um, you know, held on to something from the past here. Maybe uh, you guys are um, artists, okay? So maybe um, maybe your secret sketches actually were found or some kind of secret was let out. But it's like a relief. You finally let this secret out and you've closed the door on it now. So this, this is very weird, okay? Um, begin here. This is a door that's opening. Do not fear what travel brings, my dear. The moment is yours. Begin now here. Pass this card on. So you're going on some kind of journey here. So it can be physical journey or an inner journey here. And Spirit is saying it begins now. And don't fear this journey as well. So we're going to look at this secret sketches here. Find out what, what this is. Tell me, Spirit. For group three, what is the secret ske sketches? Why is this door closing? A little more about the secret sketches for group three, nine of wands, eight of pentacles. Okay. Could be to do with work. Tell me more. Tell me about the eight of pentacles, queen of wands. Tell me more. What is this secret sketches? Judgment. We do have the two of wands. You made a decision something. And then we've got judgment here as well. That is making a final decision about something here. Um... It's like a boundary got crossed here. Someone invaded your space or your privacy here, okay? And they overstepped this boundary. And it, and then, you know, I feel like people... Yeah, they overstepped. And I do feel like this is to do with work. You made a choice here, a decision to... to either leave this well it must be leaving this situation behind because this is closing of a door what is this secret spirit what secret was um found Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Wow, they are just literally flying out. King of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Swords again on the back of the deck. That was just on the back of the deck. Now, someone's caused you the utmost anxiety and stress. Sleepless nights. This is somebody that had no common sense whatsoever, okay? They lacked any kind of common sense here. And it's like they overstepped a boundary. This is what I keep saying. Someone who became who was unreliable, and it's to do with this Ten of Cups here, like a happily ever after or um, a relationship. family or some kind of support here you didn't you didn't get it <clears throat> my part phrase you're always complicated so we do have um Leo Aries Sagittarius as well as um Taurus Virgo Capricorn but
Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Spirit. What did this person do to Group 3? Tell me about, more about this Knight of Pentacles. So we do have Scorpio. Maybe there was... Um... Oh, okay. Okay, look, I've, I'm going to clarify more. Secret sketches, okay? This could have been an actual secret that was kept from you, Group 3, okay? Secret sketches, it can be anything. You know, I'm actually seeing, like, texts or photographs or something that was found. And I said this person was unreliable, you know, just stupid. This person had no common sense, you know. This the Ten of Cups is talking about marriage and commitment, you know, um, weddings and things like that. But this came to an end because you couldn't rely on this person. You found something here. A secret was revealed to you. And the secret is now I'm seeing here was a, maybe a, a mistress here, the, this Jezebel here with the Queen of Wands. I am going to clarify that. Um... Because I do see my Queen of Wands as somebody like the other person, the third party. So you call judgment on this commitment here. So maybe you were going to be married to this person and, you, and then you found out the truth here and you ended things here, okay? You, you put a stop to it. You put your boundaries in place. Tell me about this uh, Queen of Wands. Swords, the Knight of Cups, the Two of Pentacles. Talk about the Knight of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Just bear with me, guys. Talk about the Knight of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, this person cheated. There was something that you found out. Yeah, look, I mean, hopefully you can see that. Yeah, I think you can. Um, and we have the devil, okay? Yeah, the truth. So we have the Three of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ace of Swords. I hope you can see that. So, okay, because I, when I ask about clarifying these two here, I'm seeing that this is somebody that's fallen in, was in love with somebody else or has romantic feelings for somebody else, is communicating this with someone else, you know, like going out on dates, you know, um, I see two of pentacles as juggling something or someone. Um, this is someone who is very reckless with your heart here. Okay, very reckless in the choices that they made with the lovers here as well. Page of Swords is something happened online. It could have started, you know, maybe this person had private um, dating apps that you weren't aware of. This person is very toxic with the devil. This person is a liar. Um, they cheat, you know, they deceive. This could have been an, an actual affair at work as well because we do have the eight, eight of pentacles and we do have the three of pentacles here so i do feel like this was a work thing here okay this is someone you were involved with was a karmic here okay um but you changed your fortune as well you know you made this you called judgment on this person and you took action the truth was revealed to you okay you saw the truth the Eight of Swords is somebody that literally um, ended up putting you all in your head, feeling insecure, doubting yourself. Where did I go wrong? Did it, you know? Was it my fault? You know, it's like mental torture with the Eight of Swords. And then we do have 
and then we did that one it was these two here it was the emperor where's the emperor gone there he is so this could have been your husband you know or or wife or you know your lifelong partner here but this is somebody that could have been a business owner you know they could own their own company here okay but they abuse their power this person thinks they're very powerful but they're not so this is the door that you're closing here guys or it already has closed your fortune is gonna <laughs> you're in for a good time okay your fortune is about to change so we do have scorpio we do have aries we do have gemini libra aquarius capricorn um gemini taurus taurus virgo capricorn as well so this is your door that's closing okay something was something you saw so let's have a look begin here do not fear what travel brings my dear the moment is yours begin now and here okay so tell me about this door that's opening for group three tell me about this begin here judgment in reverse okay so there's a lot of malicious gossip that's surrounding you at the moment okay people are making you feel guilty for the decision that you've you've chosen for yourself okay it's like i feel like outsiders say no you need to forgive this person you know you need to give this person a second chance but sorry i feel like group three you are the type of people that once you step outside of the connection i'm done so yeah there's a lot of malicious gossip surrounding this situation here okay and um people making you feel guilty don't let them do this to you you're doubting yourself do not doubt yourself do not doubt your new beginning you've got to start somewhere you know with this begin here tell me about this begin here for group three six of wands seven of cups eight of cups you had the choice okay you walked away the choice was yours the choice is not anything to do with anybody else here do not let people put it in your head that you don't have a choice you do have a choice okay um yeah you do you have the choice you were the one that came out of this on top, not the other person. You know, and that's the consequences of their actions, not your actions. You're you're gonna you're gonna be alright, group three, okay? Eight of Cups is walking away. It's like you say to yourself that I, I don't really care. I may have invested this much time and energy into this person, but did they invest any time into me? Not 100%. No, they were invested in with the Queen of Wands here. And I feel like the malicious gossip that's going around is by this third party here, okay? This is where the confusion is coming from. Oh, But Spirit is saying, begin here. Maybe this is what the door... Maybe some of you are actually still in this situation here and you've not closed the door and you're you're just trying to find clarity here, okay? Trying to see, you know, what's best for you. So Spirit is saying, close this door and begin here. So some of you, take what resonates, has walked away. You know, and you're still dealing with um, maybe this gossip and everything. For some of you, you're still there, but you're not taking that chance to shut that door yet. You're not, you know, maybe you're not brave enough at the moment. Tell me more for group three. Um, what door is opening for them? Ten of cups. Ace of coins. A brand new beginning here guys tell me about this ten of cups you know this can be a new love new commitment but it, you know as i say it's happily ever after this is going to make you feel very happy this is you actually this could be you traveling as well moving abroad um traveling with work we do have travel in that begin here card so actually tell me about the eight ten of cups and the ace of coins five of coins in reverse beautiful
So, you know, hardships are coming to an end now. Things are looking up for you. Spirit is giving you this gift, okay, to start again. Um, so all your hardships are coming to an end. Um, financial worries are coming to an end as well. You can end up getting a new job here that's going to pay you really, really well. It could be even with this Ten of Cups, it could be the people that you work with are going to be like family to you, you know. They're going to welcome you in because we do have the Three of Cups at the back of the deck here, which is a friendship group here, you know, making new friends, feeling positive about the future. Tell me more about this new door that's opening for group three. Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords. You're draining yourself, group three. Emotionally drained. We've got the eight of um the eight of swords again. It's like you don't it's like you're avoiding the future or you're avoiding facing this pain. Um, it feels like you you guys don't feel like you can get out of this mental prison that you're in about how this person did you dirty with a seven of swords. You know, they cheated, they lied, they may have stolen from you. Tell me about the seven of arrows and the eight of arrows, please. You know, this could end up holding you back. Tell me about the seven of arrows and the eight of arrows. <clears throat> so we have um, the devil again I feel like this is where I said about this um, malicious gossip or people trying to convince you to change your mind here and like I said it's putting you in you know in a sense a state of confusion we've got the devil again the devil is being tempted to do something that you don't want to really do, but you're being you're being drawn back in. It could even be this emperor that's doing this. You know, please give me another chance. I will change. No, blah de blah de blah. Um, but spirit is saying no, no, no. And, you know, it also could be where I said about the Eight of Swords, you know, being in this mental prison of constantly thinking about what this person did to you. You know, you went through a very, you know, devastating time here. It's becoming, um, uh, what's the word? Um, it's like taking over your life. It's becoming, it becoming like an addiction, but not, not as in a, you know, an addiction, addiction. It's become obsessive that's the word you becoming obsessed with what this person did to you instead of moving on and leaving it behind and i know that sounds really horrible to to say that but sometimes we've got to let these things go you know for for your benefit the devil is capricorn energy tell me about the devil Now, maybe some of you wanted to travel, but yet you just didn't have a chance. Queen of Pentacles, Prince of Arrows, Strength, Nine of Arrows. And the Sun, Spirit wants you to heal from this situation here, guys, okay? Um, Spirit wants you to know your self-worth, value yourself. Put yourself on that pedal stool. You are someone to be, you know, someone should be at your feet, you know, treating you like a queen, putting you on that pedal stool, okay? You shouldn't have to feel crap about yourself. Someone is actually spying on you. There is gossip again here with, with the Prince of um, Arrows here. There's prying eyes in your life to see how you're doing, maybe like hoping that you know you're not going to succeed in anything or do well for yourself or you know that kind of thing maybe someone's actually giving information to to your ex-partner here um but spirit is saying you're a very strong strong person here you need to just turn your back on the malicious gossip that's going on okay don't 
don't sit up at night crying and worrying we've got this again we had it in in you're carrying the past into your future here is what spirit is saying your anxiety your sleepless nights your worry um you need to overcome this is what spirit is saying and you can overcome this we have the healing energy here spirit wants like i said spirit wants you to heal so we do have Leo energy, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let me get a bit of advice for you guys, okay? What advice would you give? Okay, calm down. So we've got the Princess of Cups, which is the Page of Cups in reverse. This is... What is surrounding you guys, okay, is envy, jealousy, pettiness. Tell me about this page of cups in reverse. Oh my God, I don't think so, Spirit. I've got some, what the hell is going on? Not that you lot can see what's going on behind the camera. Something is tiggling one shoulder and then tiggling me on another shoulder. <laughs> On the other shoulder, honestly. My house is haunted. <laughs> and I've got nothing on there. Oh, stop it. Um, so tell me about this page of cups in reverse. This, I feel like this is your ex that's trying to break you down, is trying to work on you, work on you, work on you, that you're ending up so confused and doubting your, your choice that you made here. This is this is the thing. They want to smooth things over. They want things to go back to the way it was. They want you to forget about it. Um, but this is also the page of, page of cups is a message card. So it's something that's, you know... It's not good news when it comes to love. So this is not you guys. This is you delivering the message to this person that's trying to break you down. I feel like you are going to let this person down. I feel like you're not going to go back there. You are closing um, this chapter in your life. Okay, sometimes we've got to deliver that bad news. So we have the fall. We have the Empress, we have the the Lovers. This is you wanting a brand new beginning, okay? You are the Empress, you could have children with this person, but you are somebody that is um, someone who knows they deserve respect and love okay because you give respect and love to people you know it's unconditional you don't expect anything in return but you just expect loyalty you know um so you are the divine feminine here but you actually choose yourself here with love and this is what i'm seeing you are choosing yourself here but it's just like you've got this energy this devil energy that keeps trying to suck you back in and you need to be strong you need to not be stuck, sucked back in by this person. So let's get your oracle cards. Um, so look at life purpose cards. Okay, straight away. Light and love. Your purpose is to bring divine healing, light and love to this world. And that is the, that is the divine feminine right there, okay? She is healing. You shine a lot of light and love, okay? And that I feel like has been dimmed by this person. You know, what's going on with you? Body work. Your life purpose involves body work, such as a massage therapy, healing, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training. Okay, so once again, healing energy. You know, maybe you've put your life on hold for this person and family, and maybe it's time to now do something for you. So we do have... Consult an expert. More information is needed. Contact someone with expertise in this area. So maybe you need maybe you need therapy, guys. You know, maybe there's someone that you need to talk to to get out of this eight of swords because your mental health is really suffering. Positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. Exactly. Stop getting sucked into this. 
if people start phoning you and going on, just say, look, I'm not talking about this and put the phone down. Put boundaries in place, you know, we do, we do have the boundary card there. Start putting boundaries in place with people. Don't be scared to do that with people. Tell them, I'm not discussing this with you no more. Because they are the people that are actually bringing all this negative energy into your life fruit free. And it's not helping you move on and heal. It's confusing you. Ready, set, go. Now is a perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire. Yeah. <laughs> Ready, set, go. And like literally begin here. And it's like, you know go mm. soulmate relationship new ro romance with spiritual bias is here for you now so you can end up fight meeting your soulmate we do have the lovers we did have the ten of cups and um, but spirit was more concerned about not actually talking about love in this reading spirit's trying to get across to you guys that you need to heal yourself from all this i don't feel like it's one person i feel like it's a group of people that can't keep their nose out. You know why I feel that people were quite shocked in, in you saying, I'm done, because you are the Divine Feminine. The Divine Feminine is very forgiving, you know. You will overlook a lot of things, but I feel like this was one step too far. Maybe your partner's cheated in the past before and you've forgiven them and this, this was the last straw. So, you know... Um, My mind just went blank there. I don't even know what I was talking about. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Oh, anyway. Protecting treasure. So, yeah, look. Spirit is saying you need to protect yourself from these people. You are a treasure. You are the divine feminine. That's what I was trying to go with that as well. Um, and protect yourself from these people. They don't deserve your love and your forgiveness. You are a treasure, okay? For group three, please, spirit. Okay, we'll take home strength. Here we go again. Strength came out there. You have the strength to carry the world on your shoulders. You know, look, she is holding the world or a planet or a tree. Um... Yeah, you're strong. You can do this, okay? Don't doubt yourself. Then we have coming apart. <sighs> yeah, you are. You know, this could be from the past here. You know, what happened to you? Everything just came apart here. But this is also, you know, if you look here and this is like the mind here. It's like you're torn in two. And this is what I'm saying about these people that are getting involved here and confusing you and it's not fair. It's like putting so much pressure on you. Then we have unexpected visitors. Oh. Careful with this, guys, okay? This could be um, this person turning up on your doorstep. Okay, maybe family members turning up to pressure you. So there's some an unexpected visitor that's coming towards you here. Follow the leader. We've got a clock here on the on the tree here, you know. I feel like time is running out here. You know, you guys, I feel like you guys are leaders, okay? Maybe you don't feel like you are. But once you start doing something, once you start um, moving forward, okay, people are going to start admiring that about you, okay? And then they're going to end up following your lead, okay? It also could be, like I said, put these boundaries in place and then people will start following that boundary, you know? So... Become a leader. Stand up for yourself. Don't let these people push you around. Jesus. Just tell me more for group three, please. Taking the risk. Yeah. Take the risk. Fly. You know. Sort, as they say. 
take that risk if it's, if for some of you you haven't actually closed that door yet with the first part of the reading then we have voyage oh wow so we my voyage there we have voyage here so you know it can be in a journey and it also could be a physical journey for you guys but you're on some kind of journey here take this as a lesson you know um not not as a um sometimes you know when we're going through life and things bad things happen we we tend to think negatively and think you know how can you know why is spirit doing this to me blah 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 but spirit wants you to take it as a journey and we have power you are powerful divine feminine okay maybe um you've never been able to show that power to other people how strong you are um Maybe that got dimmed by your partner. And then simplicity. Spirit is saying, you know, if you can embrace all this, things are going to be simple, you know. Life is going to be simple. You just got to maybe cut out some of these people here that, that are just like, not good for you at all. spirit angels of the four directions so you have angels um protecting you here this is one of the archangels okay it doesn't say who it is but you are protected by spirit then we have victim mentality yeah look this is the eight of swords you're not a victim group three okay but this is what you feel like it's like you're you're all in your head and it's like it's overflowing and it's like you can't seem to get out of this trap okay because look he's tethered to the bed here you need to be conscious of what your thoughts are, you know what your thoughts are putting out into the universe okay what you're thinking don't let these people do this to you okay um teacher so maybe there's someone that can help teach you how to cope with this like i said maybe some kind of therapy here and then we've got professional assistance yeah you need guys maybe you know therapy is not a bad thing i'm not a doctor but spirit is saying i feel like you may need professional assistance here to help with this mental prison that you're locked in okay to give you that confidence um, let's get some of these. So for group three, please, spirit. So we've got wish, your heart's desire is ready to come true. So something you're wishing for, something you've been putting out into the universe is about to happen. So your wish is going to be granted. Then we've got the key. New beginnings, directions and adventures await for those ready to let go of the past. Thank you, spirit. So there you go. You hold the key to your new beginning. But you need to let go of the past because this is what's holding you back. You're stuck. You are stuck. Okay, but I feel like m part of it is your mental mentality, okay? The other half is you're getting sucked in with 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 other people here. Family members, your ex, you know, this kind of thing. It's like you just can't seem to get a break. But put that boundary in place. Tell people to pee off. So the star, hard times are over. Look forward to abundance of happiness, enthusiasm and positivity. And that's the thing. You're going to start healing. Once you can put behind, um, once you can put the past behind you, things are going to start happening for you here, guys, okay? Let's get one more. Okay, let's get two more then. <laughs> Fawns. Weathering the challenges ahead will bring in a new and positive f future. Yeah, that's it. You know, 
you're dealing with people that have forms okay i mean look at those forms there but look at the sun in the background which is healing energy okay so once you get through all the forms once you get through all the 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 obstacles in your path you've got a beautiful positive future ahead of you moon pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confident confidently yes don't ignore that intuition if something doesn't feel right when someone contacts you um, and start trying to convince you to change your mind or trying to be manipulative or anything like that spirit is saying please listen to that intuition because that is very important it won't guide you wrong so group three i'm going to leave it there and um, you have a lovely day much love guys